Hi Libra and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you very much for being here. So we are going to do a read for the second half of the month. This is going to be a love read. If you're looking for career, money and finance uh, as well as a monthly general read, you're going to see that at the end of this video. So do check it out or check out my playlist, all right? So let's jump into this. I'm going to pull for my map cards and we're going to first take a look at uh, kind of the GPS as to what's going to kind of be navigating you as it pertains to your love life, right? Now this could be if you're single, coupled or even if you are uh, with someone, it could be one side of a situation or another. This is, can also indicate uh, a friend or family member that who could be that friend or family member, right? Um, so, uh, you know, that could be the case. Uh, a person of interest as well or someone you're thinking about, all right? So whatever has, uh, you know, brought you to my channel, that's probably the person or the uh, thing that you're most uh, kind of highlighting as it pertains to a relationship. So we're going to focus on love here. So let's take a look at what's going on for Libra, all right? The second half of September 2021. What's going on for Libra? Guys, thank you so much for all your support. I love you guys so much. You've been really a strong supporter of my channel and I just so appreciate it. Oh gosh, uh, definitely continue to like and subscribe and note your comments below. All right. All right. So let's uh, take a look what's going on for Libra second half of September. What wants to come out? What do we have here? Um, interesting spark. Ooh, something has sparked, uh, something has sparked for you here. Okay. So interesting. Take a look at this. Uh, now it's a 34 card reducing to a seven and sevens are all about having some sort of faith, right? Um, yeah, it's kind of like you're, you are being that channel for the, the, the divine, you know, really to bring forth, uh, the beautiful things here on earth. And what's happening is that you're having a spark of some sort of creativity. Is this music? It could relate to music, you know, she's playing a violin for some of you it could be writing music it could be playing music it could be uh, uh you know whatever that case may be uh writing a song um you know any sort of instrument anything having to do with music and creation there is a spark of creativity in you and a lot of more optimism and hope than ever before so maybe that you've gone out of something previously or you've just uh have some new fresh energy that's coming along your way uh, that's what's happening here. Beautiful energy. This is a perfect time to give birth to a new idea or as it pertains to love, giving birth to a new relationship. Okay. So if some of you are wondering, Hey, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't know kind of which way I should go. This is a really good opportunity, even begin a new job or any sort of endeavor. Um, but what this is saying, the attraction is high and your connection to others is really off the charts. Right. And this is about expressing the things that you want in life. And you can really watch a spark turn into a big flame and it could be incredible gratifying for you. So this is what is coming out. What's going to help you within this process? Let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to pull a moon card because uh, we've got that full moon in, uh, in Pisces, I should say. Pisces coming out on the 20th of this month. Uh, and then of course it could last a little bit longer if you know the reverberations of that energy and of the phase. But let's take a look at what's coming out for you. Have faith in your dreams. So if it's love that you're going after, have faith. Uh, be that magnet towards love. I just got done reading Cancer's uh, uh, read as well. And uh, they had a lot of fireworks in there too. So you might have Cancer within your chart. You might want to check out your moon rising and your Venus signs. Uh, that can give you a bigger picture of things. But this is saying have faith in your dreams. So some of you are starting a you know new creativity. You're being transformed. Um, and their old conclusions are in reach. So this could pertain to a relationship or a situation. You know, and it's so beautiful because it's about starting, you know, the full moon is about celebrating the wins and let going of those mistakes that maybe didn't work out. Uh, so those that you're closing out old cycles or old things that aren't working and then moving forward on things that are really creative move you right and that hence kind of goes towards like that new moon phase after the full moon right so um, very very beautiful energy uh, anything else that the soul trees have to say that's going to help you within this process here this is beautiful energy guys a sparking of something new I like it yeah it's your time to shine Libra get ready right Get ready. This is all that energizing energy here. Uh, it also is uh, centered by the divine. Like the source of the tree trunk is on the divine. That's that crown chakra. And that is your connection with source that's going to bring this new birth. The sun card, you know, in the regular tarot deck is all about, you know, the birthing of something new. 
you. It's a newborn, being like a, a newborn in new skin, right? And you're, um, you're just ready to explore the world. And all that orange is that energizing, you know, kind of a, a sacral chakra kind of energy that's um, in between that solar plexus too. Uh, those are kind of playing parts as well as your, your um, root chakra in this card. So it's all that lower chakras that are really grounding you to shine. So I like this, guys. Let's take a look at what's happening for you uh, in terms of where you're at. See if anything else wants to come out. Uh, let's start with you first and see what's going on. What's going on for Libra? What uh, what do we know most? Uh, what do we need to know most for Libra for the second half of September pertaining to love? Uh, what's going on for Libra? What do we have here? Seven of Swords. You know what? This is about truth coming out. Okay. Uh, you know, having faith and going and, and focusing on your truth. Okay. Um, you know, the seven of swords is um, an opportunity for maybe there was some sort of betrayal, uh, maybe some sort of dishonesty of some sort within a relationship or situation. Maybe you got your truth. You see the truth on the top is maybe you got your truth that you needed in a love relationship or situation, or maybe you're following your truth. Okay. Because then I get the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is uh, uh, an opportunity for clarity, power, and victory. So maybe it was victory over a situation that you were kind of, uh, you know, kind of uh, unsure about. Maybe you were, it was inconclusive, right? So I really feel that what's happening here is that there is an opportunity uh, for victory, power, and clarity. And this is you moving forward in that with your truth, right? So nice energy, nice. What, are the love, what does the love oracle have to say about this? Let's take a look at what that is. Air energy is all coming through here. Both cards, air energy. So right, uh, right in, in alignment with you here. What else? Yeah, you're feeling beautiful. You know, you're really feeling beautiful. And, and I see that you're shining. You've got faith in your dreams. You've got that spark. Um, I mean, you're really attractive right now to Libra. This is great. Um, now, it could be that you might have, uh, maybe you're going through some sort of makeover. Uh, you're in over your head. Now, it could be maybe uh, some sort of obsession. You've got clarity and truth regarding an obsession or something that was happening within your head uh, about a person, place, or thing. Okay, so maybe Maybe some of you were kind of in the head a little bit. Um, and what do we get? Truth unraveling. The truths are falling apart. It's kind of like, um, like the unraveling of truths are coming through. And so now you're able to understand how you need to move forward. That clarity is so important, right? So there is an unraveling of truths being exposed and something becoming a part breaking open so it can actually move you forward with power victory and clarity on your path so this is really beautiful energy um let's take a look at um i do want to take a look at what the um what anything more that the moon cards have to say in terms of where you're at right now uh let's take a look what is that for libra just curious uh, anything else you and your loved ones are safe Wow, guys. Yeah, this is all about knowing that in this process and this new beginning and as you're moving forward with this new clarity and your truth, you are protected in the process. Okay. Uh, and family members and all of this sort. So that's going to be very key. Let's take a look at this other person over here. Um, let's take a look at this other person in, in terms of what's going on over there. And uh, let's get a little taste of what's happening over there. Let's take a look. Judgment card. And then I get the five of pentacles. So the judgment is about some sort of, uh, maybe some sort of decision that's being made, right? And the five of pentacles is about, you know, all about, um, um, this is about, you know, being left out, right? Feeling maybe a little bit more poverty, maybe a little bit in terms of worry. You're making a decision based upon the worry and poverty that you were feeling. Um, but this other person, I kind of feel, well, let me back up here because this is the other person. So this other person is giving out of an old way of thinking, making a judgment about being left out. And they're, they're getting rid of any sort of worry and any sort of poverty within their life. And they're making the decision to move forward. That judgment card is, is, is key. Okay. In their process. Okay. So I, I like, I like, should like seeing this because this is a, you know, a, bringing some sort of absolute to a situation. Anything else that wants to come up for this other person? Uh, you got earth energy over here and you got air. Yeah, there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, this is a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with a, a, someone who's got a, a fellow air sign and you might relate to one side more than the other. I'm just focusing you on here and the other person right next to that. So with this other person, a decision that needs to be made. Okay, and anything else about that? 
Yeah, a decision and like at the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is about getting more, doing more research, getting more education, and uh, maybe they're going to school, but this is doing more research and education and moving forward, uh, you know, and getting more knowledge about the situation at hand is what I feel, okay? Let's take a look at the Love Oracle and see what wants to come out. So they're getting more information on the situation regarding the decision they need to be making in love. And um, yeah, this other person, uh, you know what? They 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 feel that um, I mean I gotta tell you they're going through a transformation right now and they're just rising up like the phoenix. Um, they feel that um, you know they they're they're getting their worth back right. They're focusing on their self worth right and knowing that they're a catch right and transforming into knowing that. So whether that you could have known that about them but they didn't know that about them and this is something that's in the process of their overcoming and they're rising up like the phoenix in some sort of transformation that's taking place. Okay, so this is beautiful energy. Um, anything that the uh, moon cards have to say about this person, but a transformation and they're realizing their value. Okay, so just see, so that's what's happening here. And the answers that you need are coming. So their answers are coming. Um, you're protected. Let's take a look at what um, what is it that you want most from this person? What do you want most from this person here, Libra? Justice. You want balancing of scales. You want justice in this situation, okay? Uh, fairness. Now, it could be dealing with it in a legal case or in a court case or some sort, or you're just, you know, seeking justice uh, within a situation. But, yeah, that's kind of what's happening here. So there's an opportunity for something to be uh, leveled out, um, you know, Libra energy, right? So you want justice in this relationship or situation or um, this whatever it is that you find yourself in. And then I get a message coming through here. Here, whether you're delivering it or you're you're um, you're getting it, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So there's a message coming through. It's very energetic and very creative. Uh, let's take a look. At anything else? Knight of Swords, motion moving forward in terms of of love. Uh, but the Knight of Swords, this is interesting. The Knight of Swords is very very hasty. So it could be moving too fast. So what you want most from them is to. Um, you want something, you want a message from them to move forward faster in terms of, uh, you know, balancing things out is what I feel here. Okay. And that's kind of what I, I feel here. Let's take a look. Anything else? Let's take a look. What do we have? Uh, vacation. Yeah. What, what they, what, um, you want most from them is, um, yeah, what you want most from them is relaxation and you want you know a getaway maybe you want to get away together okay maybe you want to unwind and have some sort of relaxation and get away together okay so some sort of vacation you feel that there's a spiritual bond with this person that just can't be broken right uh, so there is a red, you feel like there's like a string of faith that's, a, that's kind of attached to this uh, connection. Now, whether you're together or not, or some, it's someone that you're interested in, um, that's what is coming through here. Um, what is it, uh, you feel that there's a spiritual bond between you and you think that, uh, you know, perhaps uh, what you want most is, uh, is to perhaps get away. Uh, but you want a decision to be made um, in moving forward to balance things out. What is it that they want most from you? What is it that they want most from you? What did they want most from you? They want, uh, they want to move forward. They want, you know, the six of wands. The sixes are all about, uh, uh, you know, self-confidence and progress to be made. They want progress to be made in the situation. And then I get the seven of wands and that's all about uh, continuing to persevere. So they want progress and perseverance in the relationship or situation. Uh, and this is uh, a lot of uh, fire energy here. Okay, seven is about having faith. Six is about, you know, you know, continuing to birthing and, and to keep things going, right? To birth something new and to have faith in, in moving forward. Anything else? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay. So what they want most from you is your love, your calm, intuitive, your, your compassionate side. Um, you know, just, you, you know, your calmness around you. They love your energy. They love your energy and they love having you around. Okay. Uh, anything else? Um, uh, anything else they want most from you? They feel that you've been um, working a lot and that you need to take some time out for work from, from work and to keep uh, your connection alive. And um, they feel that you've got options, right? They feel that you've got a lot of options uh, and a lot of opportunities that are available. So what is your next step so far in this relationship or situation? What's the next step that you should take, uh, Libra, you know, so far in this? What does that look like? Uh, knowing that you're shining, 
Um, your next step is to not look at what didn't work, okay, but to start looking at what can be grown and what can prosper together, right? So this is to see things from a different perspective. So sources, you need to look at something from a different perspective, okay, what else? Night, as it pertains to a Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Now, you might have it in your chart. Someone might have it in their chart as well. Um, you know, but what this is me is is about, this is about seeing things differently as it pertains to someone who's offering you love, Knight of Cups. Uh, someone who's motioning, who has got love for you, right? And the Knights are all about being very transparent and loving. And, um, you know, they're a Knight. They're not a King, but they're, they're a Knight. But that's what's coming through here. So this is looking at things from a different perspective pertaining to love that's coming towards you. And what else? Could be a magician, could be done with a Gemini. Um, but, uh, or uh, this is seen is that you're taking on that energy. Or even Aquarius. I always feel this card, to me personally, represents Aquarius or Gemini. Mm. And I just really feel that there is an opportunity. Because I get the star card and I get a, I get a lot of stars about the magician uh, that comes through. But I feel that um, your best way forward, um, you know, in terms of this... Uh, Libra is to call upon your um, your energy and to see things from a different perspective as it pertains to love that's coming towards you because you've got all the resources necessary uh, to be very successful in it, okay? Best way forward in this. Uh, use your resources and look at something differently um, and focus on having victory and in this because this is what's saying. You're going to have victory, uh, rewards. You're going to be in the spotlight. You're going to have victory over this, right? Especially after no progress from the winter. Now, this could pertain to a relationship or situation, right? You could have victory that's coming into play here. Very beautiful. Anything else? Best way forward that wants to come out? What do we have? Happiness. Yes. Communication, happiness coming through, uh, you know, connection with the divine is coming through here, at, you know, very, very fast as well. So your best way forward uh, is that. So very interesting. Now this other person, what's their best way forward in this relationship or situation? What do we get? Uh, Four of Cups. Wow. So the Four of Cups is all about, um, you know, this is about, uh, uh, this is about like, uh, contemplation, you know, after they've come out of some sort of energy release of the past or some sort of darkness or a situation that kind of blew up, that they are coming on the outskirts of that and moving forward, but they're still thinking before they move forward because they're still a little too close to the, to the, to the uh, darkness, right? And so they're, they're waiting to still finish, you know, completing healing or getting over that. But the Four of Cups is that, you know, they're leveling themselves out um, much better after a situation. And then I get the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they're, the karmic cycle has closed. And so what they, they played their karmic debt. So their best way forward is, is what they're doing is waiting for the shift of energy um, from, you know, obviously this to this, but also a, 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 there's been like some sort of karmic completion here. Uh, it's destined. This is destined. So anything else? Uh, next step. Uh, what wants to come through here? They're having the strength. They could have Leo in their chart and the strength to move forward in love. All right. Nice energy. Uh, very, very nice energy. Uh, and anything else? Yeah. Spiritual awakening. They've been enlightened. They're ready for that next step. So, woo, woo. you know what? We're going we're gonna to find out now that they're, the timing has come to where it's, it's kind of like on both sides. It's kind of like there is an opportunity for uh, happiness and enlightenment. Uh, happiness on your side, enlightenment on theirs. Let's take a deeper dive to find out what it is that they that uh, they haven't told you, and uh, take a look a little bit further on what you haven't told them, uh, what they're most afraid of, and what you're most afraid of uh, within the situation. Uh, we'll get messages from both sides, and even this ne person's next move and a potential outcome. Uh, as well as Oracle advice. So if you're interested in joining me, guys, go ahead and click the link below. We'll take a deeper dive into this. And if not, I look forward to seeing you next time. All right. Until then, namaste.